Hi guys, Geo Paul here, out in Salfords near uh, Red Hill in Surrey. Lovely area. If we have a just have a quick pan round, ignore the plane noise, but seeing that Red Hills is so built up, Salfords is so rural. It's so much countryside out here. It's lovely. Um, we're doing a series of about I think seven or eight caches. It's only a mini series, so we're going to get to do that. I'm going to try and make it a quick video. I'm going to show you more of the uh, after I found them, uh, exactly where they were, and that's all. Just to show you what it's like uh, geocaching in Surrey. Um, also, just want to point out I've got a Facebook page now. So if you look in the comments, uh, sorry, not the comments, the description down below, uh, I'll put a link to it. If you want to go join it, it's not just about my videos. I'm going to start putting a lot of geocaching uh, material on there. It might be worth you joining it. It should be quite good. I would have thought. Anyway guys, let's go. Quickly pan down here. There he is. We go down here. Through the barbed wire. I don't know if that's correct. But a little bit of stick foliage. And if I can get it out. There we go. Nice big one that one. Easy one this. Just put your hand down and pull out that bad boy. I also found some friends. Hello, llama. Hey there, mate. Do you know where the next geocache is? I'll tell you that as I know. Okay, number four was at the bottom of that post. And it's exactly the same as, uh, if anybody watched my uh, horror geocache uh, one that I did with my family, a couple, I think probably about a month ago. There was one of these in it. I don't know where people get these from. Anyway, there's the geocache. Number four is done. This one's had me stumped longer than the rest of them. I arrived, and obviously, as you can see, big fallen tree. That's the biggest beacon I saw. As I say, I had a look around it, couldn't find it. I've actually gone on the geocaching app whilst that was loading because it was taking a while. I saw this big thing here so if I pull myself up there it is I'm guessing it's fallen or something because that's clearly not in the uh, I can't see that being in the right place because it's right next to barbed wire anyway that's another one done okay second to last one next to this little overflow bit where I'm guessing water will run got some railway old-fashioned railway sleepers Go. underneath and there it is big one now so we've got one more to go. Hi right, guys, last find in this little mini series has been quite cool, fairly easy to an experienced cacher. Um, lots of beacons at this last point. You've got little ones here, there, got this, oh, don't even ask me what these are. And a danger high voltage uh, communications box I guess. Now. I've had a look all around these, there's nothing around them, so I thought okay, and I was stumped. I was actually quite close to giving this a DNF. I don't like looking at hints, as I said before, so I didn't look at the hint. And it was only till I was near enough hanging upside down, you kind of spot, I don't know if you can see it because the sun, let me try. Can you see it? How sneaky is that? I like that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching my video. It was a bit of a a quick video put together of this little uh, series that, I've, uh, that I'm on. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Remember to join that Facebook page that I mentioned. The link will be down in the comments box. Catch you next time.